Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a digital subtractor using logic gates. Let's review a little bit about how subtraction happens in binary. If I'm going to subtract one number from another, or just generally to create a negative number, what I need to do is I need to complement it. And in binary, there's the ones complement and the twos complement. And let's say that I have a number like that. Now, in order to signify that it's a positive or negative number, I need to add one more bit. And if it's a positive number, that bit is going to be a zero. If I'm doing a ones complement, that bit becomes a one, and then I invert all of the other bits. So here we have zero, zero, one, zero, zero. For a twos complement, you're doing the same thing. So we have one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, but you need to add one to that value. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and add just like you would normally to perform a subtraction. So you'd be subtracting this value by adding its negative. Let's look at the circuit that I showed last time where I have a ripple carry adder. This is a full adder. I'm just going to throw, show three bits. This is your carry out and your answer. Okay, this circuit here can perform binary addition. Uh, and I'm going to put a zero into the carry in so that uh, because you don't have any value coming in there. Uh, now, to perform subtraction, all I have to do, as you remember, uh, for a ones complement number, I just need to invert the bits. So this would now perform A minus B. But there's one little catch here. If you recall, uh, when you're doing binary subtraction, or addition actually, uh, both ways really, the uh, carry out needs to be brought around and uh, if you have a carry out, you need to add one to your result. And so the way that we can perform that with this is we take the carry out and we bring it into the carry in so that uh, if this is a one, then it adds one to the lowest bit. All right. And something I didn't show in my last video that I should have was you need to be able to detect when you have an overflow situation. And you can do that by comparing it's the wrong way, your carry in and carry out of the last full adder. So if these two are the same, it's good. And if they're different, then this bit will go to a one, which signifies that you have an error. Okay, so that's great, but we have this carry around, you know, wrap around carry, which we've 
We have, this takes a little bit of time. The carry comes over here. This takes a little time. This takes a little time. Oh, and then, geez, if we have a carry, then it has to possibly ripple through again. So this isn't the most ideal situation. Instead, we can just add one. If this is hardwired, then we can just always have the carry in be one. And then it will be a twos complement. Uh, B will be a twos complement value. And this will give us just a twos complement answer of, out of the output. Well, let's say we want to convert this into an add or subtractor. In that case, what we're going to do so we take out these invert gates and we stick in instead an exclusive OR. And B comes into one of the inputs. And then to the other input, see, I guess I'll try to draw it over my A's. We have uh, our control signal. And this control signal says if it is a zero, then it adds. And if it's one, it subtracts. But to make it all nice, I'm going to also connect that up here so it does a twos complement uh, subtraction. So uh, that is how you do subtraction in digital logic. And if you found this video useful, take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.